to start a rural generalist is a doctor that is able to provide care across the continuum to the patients in remote communities. And that has a strong component of primary care, a strong component of population health, a component of emergency and acute care, and then some specialty care as required to those communities and aligned to what the services can provide. In the Northern Territory, we have the greatest need in community work, in community-based rural generalists, as we call it. They are the ones that are providing complex, contemporary general practice service, also having a very strong uh, impact in public health and being involved in public health practices, also providing emergency care, and in many cases, mental health, palliative care, and other advanced skills in community. That's where we have the greatest need. I love general practice, and the thing I like most about it is you know your patients, you get to see them regularly, um, and continuity of care isn't just theoretical. It's really important, and it's the absolute crux of being able to look after people, prevent severe disease, and keep people out of hospital. The, the practice are working really hard on having enough capacity for the people of Norman Boy to be able to get a regular GP and see their regular GP, because that's how GP works. That's what it's for. Often how we manage things remotely is that we, or in a rural hospital, is we try and um, ensure that the patients that we accept are going to be patients that we can manage. Unfortunately though, we also have to manage the emergencies that come in through the door. It's a really great position for training. The focus on the rural generalist training pathway, meaning that you can stay in the one training location to achieve most, if not all, of your training requirements is, is definitely a great bonus. The lifestyle is perfect. I'm very happy and I'd like to continue working here. I think uh, being a rural generalist and sounds a bit corny, but is sort of a way of life out, out here. It's a, you, you become such a big part of your hospital team. I know everyone that works at the hospital and I think that's one of the biggest advantages of being able to be a generalist is that opportunity to have such a close-knit team of doctors and nurses and allied health professionals. You know, we find ways to manage even really difficult situations and that's because of that support and that teamwork that I think sometimes um, is a bit trickier in bigger, busier places. So I think that is probably the highlight for me is my team that I get to work with, which really gives you a sense of purpose and place. Some of the main attractions to working or wanting to come and work and live in Lullenboy, I think is the location, you know, the climate, the people, the strong culture of the people, the multi-diversity or the multicultural nature of the people that I uh, spoke about. But it's also unique in that it's one of those areas that's regarded as remote, but it's really not that remote. You're actually very central, but yet it has the benefit of a remote component in a tropical paradise, essentially, to be able to practice a good standard of medicine across a wide scope of areas within a team of invested and dynamic doctors. We're also an active learning centre, so we look to promote uh, rural generals right across the spectrum. So it offers opportunities for doctors right across the spectrum. So it really is a beautiful place to, to live and work in.